Today's video is brought to you by the Gaming Deal of the Week. You like getting crazy? You like being an acrobat? Get Assassin's Creed 2 for $8.80 on Amazon this week only. See the link in the description below. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tech Tomorrow. You guys know me. I'm Elric Ferris. Got Jesus Bueno back behind the camera back there doing his usual shiznik. Now, a lot of you guys have been sending me emails and stuff about a lot of products that they sell like over in Asia, but through eBay. And so taking that in mind, I kind of went and shopped around there, looked at some of those weird ass cat leap monitors. And while I was doing that, I came across a bunch of really weird fucking mice, dude. One of them I came across with was this PC Mazer. It's called like the basically E-Blue series. And it's this little thing right here. Now, supposedly this mouse competes with a lot of the higher end gaming mice that we see over here in America, but you can buy it on eBay for 18 bucks ship. Now, a lot of people are gonna freak out. They're gonna be like, my God, it's coming from Hong Kong, man. Now, there is one thing about this company I bought it from. They don't send you a tracking number. So I waited and waited and waited and sent them a fucking nasty email saying, hey, where's my product, ass bites? And they're like, oh, dude, it's been at your place for two weeks. And I'm like, well, why do you send a tracking number? And they're like, oh, yeah, sorry. Give me a tracking number. I guess the post office tried to deliver it to one of my friend's houses multiple times. But we got it right here. It's 18 bucks. Works on both Mac and PC. Now, online, you'll see that it says it has a maximum DPI of 1,600, but actually the maximum DPI on this is actually 2,400. I think it's a pretty interesting product, especially if you want to get a gaming mice and not especially if you want to get a gaming mouse and not break the bank. Because, I mean, come on, 20 bucks. If it actually does compete with some of the higher-end products, it's going to be pretty cool. So let's bust it out of the box right now, hook it up to my little Mac shack in the back here, and let's see what's going on. All right, folks, so here we go. So the cameraman's going to do a couple things here. It'll probably piss him off, and I'll make him do a couple of different things. You guys can see I got the mouse right here. But up here on my screen is actually where I bought it from, from eBay. So you guys can see up here, this is the old eBay thing. Name of the guy I bought it from was called uh, Prefect for You. I suppose he meant to say perfect, but instead he said prefect, so he thinks he's the ruler of you since he's your prefect. But this is it, 18 bucks online, easy to get. There you guys saw it. Here's this right here. We'll make sure we put this link up here that we bought it on as well if you want to check it out. So let's start the unboxing. Front of the box, you guys can see it says for pro right-handed gamers. Three-way. It does three-way. Wow, that's kind of kinky. Uh, it's got some... Page weapon switchers, hybrid LED performance, says the master of destiny, works on both Mac and PC. And that's pretty common. I think most things work on Mac and PC. Here are different stuff, a couple programmable buttons. Now, everything on this thing is obviously written in Asian because this thing comes directly from Hong Kong. My biggest thing is this though. If you can actually get a mouse from Hong Kong that kicks ass for 18 bucks, why not wait the week for shipping? So Let's go ahead and start taking the thing out of the box and let's see if this thing is as cool as I'm really hoping it will be. So, coupling, there's the box. Check out the damn cameraman. Defend yourself, cameraman. Oh, wow, you even let it hit the camera. For that, he gets an extra beating after work and one less serving of pork chops. So, here we go. Here's the Master of Destiny, the mouse. Da -dun -da -dun -da -da. When I think of Masters of Destiny, I'm thinking of like some He Man cartoon. He Man, Master of Destiny. All right, so let's pull this thing out. Mm hmm. Buttons seem pretty ergonomic. All right, folks, here's the right side. Two programmable buttons. Got a little thumb rest right here for your thumb. Pretty cool, Shiznik. Buttons up here on top. Middle scroll. Doesn't move left. Oh, yeah, okay, it moves left to right as well as up and down and your regular scroll. You've got your DPI button right here. You hit this little button, it's going to change the DPI. Let me spin around, maybe so you guys can see that better. We can see DPI on that side. Then I'll spin it around again, because these guys are freaking weird over there. Here's the eBlue, so you gotta keep switching. Every time you wanna look at a name, you gotta keep switching it. They did it to confuse you, I guess. There's the eBlue. And then here at the bottom, the Mazer, the PC Mazer. It's all that. Flip around over this side. Now there are no buttons on this side at all, which I think is kind of whack. You'd think there'd be a button on there, but there's not. So here's the cable. Get it all out there, see how long it is. So it's actually pretty long, folks. So I can't even put it in the camera range. It's longer than that. So here I am by the camera. I'm gonna pull it all the way back. I think you guys can see this. Very, very long. So let's go ahead right now and let's go ahead and move my death adder off my thing. And let's unplug my phone charger. 
and plug this little bad boy in. And there we go. We can see it all lights up. My Mac automatically detected it. My Hacken Mac. You guys can see the buttons on this side, all nice and blue. Top, the DPI. I'll actually play with the dang thing in a few days and I'll let you guys know if it's actually worth its weight and uh, 18 bucks. So I mean, check it out though, it's a pretty cool mouse. I mean, it's only 18 bucks. It actually does feel really good in my hand. And I mean, there are many like cheap ass little Logitechs that are out there that I feel this is gonna be superior to those any day of the week. So I'll start playing with the thing and Here's the bottom. You guys can see the serial number down there. And you know, that's pretty much it guys. Check you on the flip side.